pillow out there wherever you are. As for me, well, I'm heading to PNC Park to see the Pittsburgh Pirates take on the Red Hot. Best record in baseball, Atlanta Braves, but not really as interested in the game as I am interested in the seats I'm going to sit in. You see, we're sitting in the Pirates Cove all-you-can-eat seats. And for a long time, for many, many years, when the Pirates had all-you-can-eat seats, I always tried to go, and plans would never work. And then they got rid of the all-you-can-eat seats, but they brought them back for 2023. And it's a limited, reduced menu in this regard. You get unlimited hot dogs, um, nachos, popcorn, peanuts, and soda. That's the limit. Um, so it's section 201 to 204. We're sitting in 204, and the concession area is behind 204. You get a wristband, and apparently you get unlimited until the last out of the game. So we're going to check it out. We're going to see what it's all about. We're going to see if it's worth it. We're bringing three teenagers along, so it's got to be worth it, um, because think about how much they eat. Think about how much it costs to actually get food at a game. Um, so we're going to see Pirates Cove, all you can eat seats, Pirates, Braves, August baseball, and Tom was here. Hey guys, it's Blake Hanson. Angelo Spagnola. Dorn Dickerson. This is Donnie Football from 93.7 The Fan. And I'm KDKA meteorologist Mary Hours, and you're watching. Tom was here. 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 Like a true professional. That's incredible. <laughs> good until the final out of the game. So this is the concession stand. It's by 204. You go up there, you pick what you want, they give you what you want, and you're on your way, which is kind of cool, actually. One thing to note, there is a, there's stairs kind of right before you're going to hit the outfield seats. Like if you're coming up the first base line concourse, there's stairs right where like they do Pirates pregame, and you're going to going to go right up those stairs, few sections up right past the sweep everything and go to the uh this small section it's not really super well listed but um yeah definitely want to go the stairs first base side right past pirate pregame desk main concourse all right this is the first uh thing we're doing we got two hot dogs we got some nachos they have your own cheese dispenser over there you can use coke zero they have fountain stands I guess I assume they're on I don't know maybe you have to go to the but this is your kind of booth for just your sections here you go over you ask for what you want they have additional stuff for stuff you don't you know you can pay for it. like you can pay for like a $15 $16 beer and water and stuff but for you just walk up ask for your free stuff they give it to you you're on your way I have to say these seats are pretty nice <laughs> I mean, they're higher up, you know what I mean? They're, you're not sitting out against the thing, but you want to see the whole field. You want to get a foul ball opportunity. That's something they'll do. And it's got a top-end view of PNC Park. Big pop of this very low-attended. <laughs> Nearly the popper cottage joke. Yes. Look at the tens of tens of people here celebrating. Well, the Cooney just get rung up by the Pirates pitcher on the first first at bat of the game. Cut him. He's terrible. Get him off the team. Rung up by a Pirates pitcher. So, fate worse than death in some cases. So he striked out Acuna and then literally loaded the base. <laughs> I hear I thought he was going to have a good night. Not so much. 
Hey, he got out of the jam. Good for him. I wasn't sure, but he got out of the jam. Unreal. Amazing. My first experience with all you can eat seats, and it is the dream that, that I had realized for so long. Um, it's everything I wanted it to be and more. Uh, I mean, look, first of all, there's, it's not a busy section. We got aisle seats. We can just walk in whenever we want, walk out whenever we want. Like I said, it's not a busy night. It is not sweet tickets, but it's not bad either. Number 10, Brian Reynolds. Big pop. Big pop from McCutcheon. Oh, this is the MVP. Struck out clean again. I was hoping to film. I was going to film the, the potential MVP. There's two Ks on the board. They're both him. I can say this so far. The hot dogs are okay. Um, popcorn, not the freshest popcorn I've ever had. Um, I probably wouldn't waste a bunch of time on that. That's probably my first and last box of it. But hot dogs were legit. Nachos were nachos. Like, you can't go wrong with them. Maybe get more nachos is probably what I'm going to go get. Um, but, yeah. Hey, get yourself an aisle seat if you can get it. And just go right back there and get some more stuff. <laughs> I've already run back there like every half inning to grab a drink. I usually get one drink a game. And then I just suck through it about the inning and then I'm done. But these are nice. I'm going to go every half inning. Maybe you're in cheese dispenser for the nachos. It's not as good as just the cheese that you would get out of concession, but also it's free. So. Ooh. Yeah, he, he kind of has it. So, a couple quick tips. Uh, here's what I would say about these seats. If you decide to test these out, pick... Well, then again, so we're playing the Atlanta Braves this evening. And the Atlanta Braves have a big draw. So it's somebody that, you know, a lot of Braves fans are here tonight. But it's still not a, like, it's a midweek game, so it's not super busy. But if you find a junk matchup in the Pirates lineup, and they're playing just like Milwaukee for the 900th time, or just somebody that just is not, and you want to test out these seats, do it on one of those nights later in the season. Not a big crowd. It's not super busy tonight. And 204 to 201 is isolated from kind of the rest of the ballpark. So you kind of have like a section to yourself. And if it's not really busy, then you can also go up to the stand. I've been up the stand several times to grab drinks, to grab other stuff. No one's there. So you just walk right up, grab what you want, get it. Uh, having an aisle seat also, super clutch. Although it's not as busy as the night tonight. But if it was like every seat was filled, having an aisle seat is huge to be able to get in and get out to get stuff. Um, but so worth it. For 41 bucks a ticket, I know it's a little steep for like a Pirates game, but like, you know, keep in mind, if you go to a Pirates game for 20 bucks and then you're spending $40 in concessions, now I will tell you, alcohol is extra. You have to pay like your $16 beers or whatever you have to pay. Um, anything outside of what they offer is extra. So keep that in mind. So if you have people in a group, that like that sort of thing, by all means grab these tickets. If they don't, you won't get as much mileage out of it. But I can tell you, I'm here with three teenagers tonight. They have put down about 16 hot dogs so far, and it's the fourth inning. So, you know, not not that they would ever get that if we had to pay every time at the concession stand, but what's 16 hot dogs at concession stand prices? Like, what are they now, like $8 a piece or something? You see the value. It's definitely worth it if you're if you're if everybody there is pounding down stuff. It's definitely worth it. That's where I'm sitting this evening, and you can see the long walk. You can see these seats for what they are. Acuna's a bat. Ready to strike out again, Ronald. He is going to strike out again. <laughs> What's it, two strikes on that? You're going to strike out again? Ron, you're going to strike out again, Ron. <laughs> he is going to strike out again. I'll be like it. I'm just recording this to see him strike out again. Ooh. 
<laughs> that looked like a strike to me. Come on, don't let me down, Ron. Yeah, that's strike out, strike out. Do it again. Oop, still alive. But if you didn't watch any other game, you walked into the stadium, of which there's so many Braves fans, they're all wearing the Acuna jersey. And this is the guy that they're wearing, strikeout, strikeout guy, to the Pirates, no less. I know he's really good. I, I, I kid, I know he's really good, but at the same time, he strikes out here. I, oh, oh, there's, there you go. That's what it is. There. Oh. Going for two. So, okay, I see it. I see it. All right, he finally did something. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll give, I'll give him a hard time. Shortstop, Alika Williams. All right, whoever this guy is, let's do it. Some excitement in the game. It's now a 2 1 kill. Heck, the army's flying in. What's happening there? Being invaded. I don't know what's going on there. Only one out. Base is chock full. Alright, kid, do it. Go. Oh, he wanted it. He wanted it. He didn't get it, but he wanted it. Ooh. That's a boo There's another run though, right? There's another run? Is that, is that tie game? Yeah. It's tie game, yes. Clearly I missed the Braves uh, score two runs. <laughs> I definitely missed the Braves score two runs. I thought it was a tie game for like a cup of coffee until I looked at the scoreboard and I went, wait a minute. I was just in this inning, too. I must have not been paying attention. Hayes can take the lead with one sw swing here. tie game, unlike what I said before. It was actually a tie game. Got it. Which is good. Do it. A blue's way ahead. Keep the pace. end view you get from this section it is really nice I mean this is just directly outside but man it is a solid gorgeous Pittsburgh evening in August not too warm very nice you can see what's going on down there you kind of see the whole section here see where people are standing up at the little tables or stuff freshman stand it's a lot of cool thing it's a it's a really really nice section to catch a nice game they got these tables sitting down here in front of the concessions so i like the whole vibe of this especially on not a super busy night that is clutch if it's not super busy these seats are the way to go for sure
Buccos are keeping it competitive in this one. They're they're keeping it competitive. Let's just be fair here. A couple times they were down, they pulled right in. Another tie game here with the Brian Hayes ball. Now that there is right next to section 205 here is actually the start of the club section. You do not have access to the club from the all you can eat scenes, but um, I don't know what you actually get in the club section. I haven't sat in the club section at PNC Park for some time. You don't get like free food or anything. I think just access to the club, which is pretty nice. And it has its own concession stands and own merchandise stands and stuff. So that's cool. But if it costs about the same or more than these seats, is it worth it? I don't think so. But to each its own. We've reached the wave section of the game, folks. There's not enough people really to do a wave, but they're attempting it. <laughs> There's not really enough to do. Okay. A challenge here. So there's a challenge. Brought to you by Great Central. Alright. Hold on. Super slow motion. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. He's going in. Hold on. Let's be fair here. Let's be fair. What the hell? Well, show the throw don't mean anything, you goobers. <laughs> Let's look all the plate. Oh, they're saying that he jumped. He wasn't on the base. Oh, he, he never jumped. Tagged up. He didn't tag up. Oh, never mind. Never mind. He didn't tag up, idiot. No, not a chance. You're out by a mile, my man. He didn't tag up. You didn't tag up, you failure. No. I was getting very upset. I was like, what about the tag? But no, he didn't tag up. That's what it is. He did not tag up, and therefore you fail. Call on the field is your failure. And you didn't tag up, so therefore you were out. Come on, New York. What? What? Oh, this is garbage. He didn't tag. Go! Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> he didn't tag up. He didn't Derek tag Jones up. Derek come in sprinting right now. Oh, cut this whole team. Cut this whole team? You mean the... Yeah, the umps. Cut New York, they're garbage. I get... Oh, Atlanta's the best team in baseball. Why? Because they get gifted wins. That was bullshit. That's a terrible call. Well, Atlanta has the best record in baseball. Why? They get gifted every win. Gift. Junk. You can't beat the Pirates on your own. You need a whole ref crew to help you. You're a trash. Boo! Who, who slipped on for 20? Boo! You're horrible. Oh, look, a strikeout. You might as well give him another run, right? Is that the way this game's running? What a trash, trash game. I will tell you this. In order to justify these seats, we have um, a far more than I've ever eaten at a Pirates game ever before. Um, so I had two nachos, I think three or four hot dogs maybe, two things of popcorn, peanuts. Mm. Yeah, we might be banned. We might be the ban hammer. Between the three teenagers over here, our group of six ate, I believe, 22 hot dogs amongst us, which is impressive. One of us, not me, not the boy, Eight nine hot dogs. My nephew ate nine hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's he just turned eighteen. You know, he's an athlete and he just pounded down nine hot dogs, aka the rock. But I don't see him working out or anything. He just pounded a bunch of hot dogs. But 
still, yeah. money's worth. And this batch, I will say, I give a hard time to the first popcorn, but this one's way better. No, not too. So, I'm only getting it. These seats great. are definitely worth um, the worth the like visit for sure, at least right. once, just to you know see the justification of like sitting here and seeing. <laughs> Is it almost a challenge to see how much food you can put down or just to justify the cost of the $41 ticket, which is not bad reasonably considering all the food you get. And really, they do say they limit you to four. Nobody, nobody is challenging that. Um, and it's four per visit. So you can get a lot more. It's not like it's, yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, we, we put down a lot of food, I will tell you that much. Let's go. 
come alive here. The crowd has come alive. and view from the Pirates Cove seats. I mean, a incredible, incredible nighttime view of Pittsburgh. It's lovely. All right, walking out. Pirates lost one. Got kind of cheated on one, but that's okay. Well, that'll do it. From PNC Park, or Pirates Cove, all-you-can-eat seats, uh, you know, the game, I felt the Pirates got a little cheated. There was a weird call in the seventh where the runner didn't tag, but they gave him the run anyway. I would need further explanation on that. Um, but really, against the best team in baseball, they, it shouldn't be that close. But <laughs> Pirates had 14 strikeouts in this game, so I'm, I can't remember the last time they had more than five whenever I went to a game. But... All you can eat seats, what can I say? Incredible value. And if you're going to eat that, you know, you're going to eat the food that they offer the hot dogs, the popcorn, the peanuts, the sodas, the nachos. If you're going to eat that, incredible value. But that'll wrap it up. For Pirates Graves and Pirates Cove, all you can eat seats, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Like and support me on Patreon like John Bailey did. You can do so. Link is in the description below if you'd like to buy a t shirt. It's almost your t-shirt you can do so at Spreadshirt, as well as links to my eBay store, Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and the Pennsylvania Autograph Collector Association. Links are in the description below. But when it comes to Pirates Braves and the Pirates Go Ball, you can eat seats, I can officially say. And my name is Domino's here. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. Bye, everyone.